Varric's been busy if he got this much done. Nothing going on out here. How about you? Find anything? Good, because this old body is in need of some rest. Sounds like it's a waiting game then. It seems I have uninvited guests. You want to explain yourselves? Whoa, 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 hey, it's me. Dane. Put the gun down already. It's not you I'm concerned about. It's your friends. Rightfully so. So, it's official. Heretic it is, then. I figured the old man might play it that way. Always the extremist. But since I have your attention, allow me to plead my case. If I can't appeal to your sense of duty, perhaps your sense of compassion will do. I am not sure how familiar you are with our culture, but all I've ever wanted was the right to choose. I was born House Vithal. I was raised to inherit the role of Elder, to run the Ministry of State, to worship the Great Serpent, but I want none of it. They really got into your head with the whole promise thing. This is how the houses operate. Manipulation at its best. It's never mattered how much I tried to reason with him. My father simply would not let me go. His pride and the fear of what it would mean for House Vithal is all he cares about. But it should matter. All I want is to make my own life. Something Tain understood and was willing to help me with. The credits help too, but yeah. Guess you got the whole scoop now. I realized I was going to help a friend. And yeah, I knew the risks. That's why we had the tracker. I needed Beric to get far enough away from Dazra so I could safely pick him up and get him out of here. I like to call it looking out for a friend. I lost my ship to the incident, so I didn't want Beric running off thinking I could just grab him and go. I was also out all the credits he was going to pay me. That's where you came in. I figured, why not two for the price of one? So, now you know my true intentions for leaving, and given the circumstances, I may be here for some time. My hope now is to make the best of it here. I can't do that. The truth is, the scaled citadel was the last straw. My people are so blinded by faith and politics, they don't see how it's destroying us. Anasko Varun eliminated half our population in the blink of an eye. My sister Vashti among them. I could no longer live in a society that won't put its people first. That would destroy itself in the name of a god that has done nothing for us. Whoa, whoa! You're not really gonna kill him, are you? I mean, first of all, are you sure Victor even wants him dead? Uh, hello? Because Varric's his son. You heard Vittoria. Victor's acting on impulse, not reason. The man just lost his daughter, half his people, and now his son's trying to walk away. There's no way he's thinking straight. Tain is correct. We are often taught that decisions made under duress are not the wisest. Come on. It's three against one here. You gotta see this isn't right. <laughs> None of our business. I understand this is a state matter, but... If you seek to execute traitors, this is very much Tain's business. I mean, I wouldn't be calling myself a traitor. But you said it, sister. I had every intention of getting this guy off planet. 
Am I next on your list? Hey, no, I wasn't serious. Hey, 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 hey. Dane is innocent here. Let the man go. Consider his aid in finding me as a recompense. There's no reason to tell my father. As promised, it is your duty to either carry out Victor's sentence or let him know of Tain's involvement. And I think we all know that'd be a death sentence for me if he did. So if you're gonna do this, may as well get it over with now. Beric, I hope you've been working on that target practice. Let's see if it pays off. Hope you're ready for a fight! It is pleasing to speak with you. Thank you for the conversation and, and everything. <laughs> 